So Mighty PSA is a global youth council is pretty much what it is. Um, it's getting all the youth in the city to be participating in those problem solving. So what was your favorite part of Mighty Peace Day? Uh, I'd probably be some of the bands that were there. We didn't agree with what Bill 10 was saying in that, in a sense, it made it a lot harder for kids to have a GSA, which in my personal opinion and quite a few others didn't seem fair because, I mean, in our schools especially, uh, we should have a right to be ourselves and to have other people around us who support us. I mean, you shouldn't have to go to school and not feel safe. So uh, we came together as a group mainly the four of us, but the whole council had a part of it. And we uh, did a delegation in front of the city council and we went to the school boards. We went around talking about what a GSA should look like, why it's important to have one, and uh, general things you can do to make it better and safer for kids in our schools, which I think is important because we're in such a changing generation, we're now it's kind of split between older views and newer views and how we have kids that are coming out or wanting to be more comfortable with their identity and the youth around them support them but a lot of the time the adults just not necessarily don't support them but just don't know enough to be supportive and I think rather than just ignoring the issue we need to work together to educate them rather than leaving them clueless about you know, what right pronouns are, how to treat them, or what could be offensive, because, I mean, it's not necessarily ignorance, it's just no one's ever taught them. And, yeah, I think that's important to keep kids safe in our schools, and that's a big part of the reason why I want to be a part of changing the bills and helping to educate the schools. a few things going on. This year we did uh, open mic night. We had um, local musicians get together, they organized the whole event, like that part of the event. Um, like our youth council members did a photography exhibition and their photography was on one side so it was all different kinds of fine arts all over the place and there was food and our parents got to be involved. Yeah, it was a good turnout, and it was so awesome to kind of get everyone together for you. We put on a photography workshop, and um, we taught them some like basic photography knowledge, and then we all went out on a walk around Grand Prairie and took photos, and then after that, everyone submitted their photos that they took and we displayed them in March. It was really cool to see my photos in print. So today I won an award for my recognition of outstanding commitment to volunteer volunteerism. <laughs> Perfect. And how are you feeling about it? Great! I'm feeling ecstatic. Ecstatic. 
I, I thought I said static. <laughs> <laughs> All of us have a voice to make a change in this city, and it's amazing that we get to do that. Uh, when it was first introduced to me, it was very um, prominent, the, uh, the idea that you're going to be involved with government, and it's important to me that, you know, what I, ha what I have to say is considered when making, you know, these decisions. To have them represented in council is comforting. I've been in it for over five years. My mom actually put me in it. She was like, oh, I'm going to sign you up for this because I'm your mother and I can force you to do whatever I want. So that's how I got in it. And I'm actually so glad for my mom doing that because it is the most amazing place ever. It's like my second home. I go there and I voice my opinions and stuff actually happens. Like people actually listen to you when you join committees like this and you see results. The youth council is absolutely vital because the ideas of the youth are the ideas that will prevail over a country in the coming years and those ideas need to be recognized, otherwise the world is not going to change. And the fact that we're youth may indicate that we don't have enough power, we don't have much say in the world, but fact is we do, and we can change, thing, change things, and we are going to change things because we will inherit the world, and we are continuing to inherit it every day. It is important for you to take action because then they know that they have some sort of like power to do something and that someone is there and hearing them. I've never been a part of anything else that has been so inspiring by meeting other people and seeing their views and looking at things through their way and just learning so much on top of being able to be a part of something in your city, like changing things in your community. So many people talk about changing things, but it you can't replace the feeling of actually being a part of change that you know is not just going to affect you, but kids around you and kids that come after you. A lot of people, especially our youth, um, we go from different schools and like different school districts and we often don't actually associate with each other. But when we actually have a council like this, a youth council, we actually combine our thoughts and we try to make our community more collectively. It's nice to have youth that are connected with one another to make us stronger community. I think it's important to have youth council in Grand Prairie because it brings youth together uh, to talk about very serious topics and uh, kind of what they feel about those topics and how we can maybe find some solutions to those problems. Josh, you always seem a little bit off, a little bit tilted. You don't really follow the straight and arrow. What do you got to say about that? Um, it's always great to be different, you know, it just, you gotta, you gotta be you. <laughs> <laughs> Government is serious. Are um, you videotaping? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fancy pants. I strongly disagree with your stance. Too bad. Oh, <laughs> God, please. <laughs>